Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I am going to make a new video. So please, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I am ready for battle. I am ready for war. So I come for the target. I'm engaging your core. I am ready for battle. And I'm ready for war. So I come for the target. And I'm taking it over. So basically in this video, I will be showing y'all how to get tons and tons of Rio each day. So basically mass produce Rio. So here is how you do it. And these tips are really good if you don't have ramen guy yet, so highly suggest it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe guys. And also join the Discord in the description so you get announcements on future Robux giveaways. And loop the playlist in the description below to help me get watch time and let's begin. And subscribe. So first we're gonna start from zero, which means we need some money, but do not do clicks, steal, people mo steal people's money. See how we got 5k in only 3 seconds guys? So don't do clicks, clicks, clicks. First we're gonna see how much money all these tycoons have, then we're gonna upgrade stuff. It's called entrepreneuring guys. So basically we're just gonna steal, actually no, it's just called robbing basically. So let's just steal everyone's money, now we have 7k. So that can get us some pretty good droppers, okay, maybe 5 droppers. And so I'm pretty sure that is about all we can steal because people have roof bearers and sometimes people leave some money here guys. And I think we should have went here because we would have got 100% of that money if we started the tycoon there. But it is totally fine guys. So right now we're just going to go back to our tycoon and start upgrading guys. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. So just look how fast we can get all these droppers guys. So that is why you don't spend your time clicking and clicking and clicking. Time is key guys. So now we're gonna head to the shop and the most useful jutsu for getting Ryo is shurikens. Many people underestimate the ability of shurikens, but let me show you what shurikens can do. We're gonna go to Madara. Yes, he's the easiest boss. Okay, so first we're gonna make him follow us into onto a high place. We need a high ledge for this. What what Madara will do is follow us to it. So we're gonna keep dealing damage until he follows us. This is a hack on how to defeat every boss with shurikens, guys. That is how I was able to accomplish it in the other video when I defeated every boss. So just look at that. Cole Jason's code cannot beat us because these bosses are coded to come towards you. So if you're on a high ledge, they can't get you. The reason I did not choose Obito is because he has a sphere, this long range thing. Long range is our weakness, guys. And Kaguya too strong for us right now. So shurikens, the strongest boss you can defeat is Madara or Obito. Actually, Cole Jason, but we're gonna take down Madara right here, real quick. And we got nothing. Moving on to the next boss. So, the next boss we may take on is probably we might just move on to Kaguya. So, but first, we need some stronger jutsus, guys. So, the first one is Fireball Jutsu. But if you have Ramen Guy, I highly suggest you to use the Ramen Bowl Jutsu. It is huge, guys. Look how huge it is. Because this is like the best long range jutsu, this is why. It has a really good radius or attack radius, which means it's easy to hit people with it. And it wants to try down Rogue Ninja, it can kill Rogue Ninja in 3 tries. So the next jutsu we need is Ribcage, I know, a really new play by Ager Gaming, yeah, who still uses Ribcage, but this is really good against the bosses, considering how wired, the way they are wired. The next one is Gatsuga. Since we're gonna use them, this to leer the bosses, and this can one shot all the bosses, guys. So now we're inside Kaguya's uh, lair. So now we're gonna just use the Sasana ribcage, and we're gonna try approaching her and using Gatsuga on her. And then that should, okay, that should take her out. What? No, it did not take her out yet. So we're gonna come back again, and that Gatsuga glitch. The only con, the only uh, bad part about Gatsuka is it's the glitchi glitchiest jutsu too, not the glitchiest, the glitchiest. So we are once again into the arena once again and we will throw the ramen guy jutsu and we're gonna get Gatsuka once again and we're gonna approach it. Okay, so we're gonna keep our ribcage and make sure he does not punch you because he can punch through the ribcage and no Rio. So yeah, Kaguya doesn't have, well, there's a 10% chance but it's really small that you'll get Rio on Kaguya. So we are now moving on to the Ten Tails, and you'll need the Ice Sinbon for this one. It kills that Ten Tail easily. 
and it will only take like 30 seconds at most yeah you may not you have to angle it correctly too guys so be aware and the greatest thing of the tintail is it gives you 300 rio guys so we're gonna go in there and defeat that tintail real quick guys Okay, so now you have to avoid that wave, and I think he already sent out that wave, so we're gonna put our ice in bond, and wow, another wave once again. Okay, so we're gonna attack the Tintail once again, guys, because that failed and failed another time. And I just hope this time it does not fail, okay? Okay, he sent out his beam. I don't think there will be another wave anytime soon. Let's do that. And wow, he beamed me. What? It almost died. If it did, then we, would, we wouldn't be able to go back in, guys. And this reminds me of something. And yeah, I still make those stupid mistakes, guys. So, but I still get the job done. I still kill the ten tails, right? <laughs> but we're gonna go back in again and launch uh, Roman Burst Bomb because he is like at 1% health and I know the Burst Bomb can take him down. Watch. This is how strong the Burst Bomb is. Right there and boom, it's dead. And it dropped the Rio, but we really do not need it, guys. So, uh, and th that's all the Rio and we just went to shop. I don't care about that Rio because we already have 2,000 Rio, guys. And Cold Jason won't really add something costing that much Rio. Well, anyway, next to the Cold Jason boss, the secret boss. So, Cold Jason produces clones, and there is this one thing that you need to watch out for, which is when he shoots his bullets. So, that is like the one shot thing. This boss is really similar to Obito, but much stronger. And as I said, all bosses are wired like this. You can just do this. You go to a high ledge and you make a follow you and then camp with shurikens. The reason that I did not use Chidori Sinbon is because you can glitch crazy on mobile. So that is why I'm using shurikens. So now he is much lower. I'm just going to go down there uh, and use Gotsuka in just a moment. When he reaches about Orange Child, we can go down there and take him out down with our Gotsuka. Okay, we're just going to keep sniping him with our shurikens. If you don't want to wait all day, that's what I'm going to do. Get Susan Ribcage, go down, deal with him, and let's pull out our Gotsuka when we get close enough, guys. Okay, right there, and he is dead. Boom, bam, bop. And look how glitchy that is, guys. I, I mean, Gotsuka is the glitchiest jutsu you can... That is in this game, guys. Well, anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and as you can see, it is really easy to mass-produce Rio, and thanks, and have a great day. Check out my other videos, too.